Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this figure that consists of two right triangles, as you can see over here. And one of this triangle is a blue triangle ABC, and the other right triangle is red ACD. And now we are going to find the value of X. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We can see that this side AC is in common between these two triangles. So I can call this side AC as lowercase m. Now let's go ahead and consider this blue triangle ABC. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this side AB as lowercase a, this side BC as B, and this longest leg I'm going to call this side C. And now here is our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in our case a is x so i'm going to put down x square plus b in our case is 3 i'm going to put down 3 square equal to c in our case is m so i'm going to put m square so let's go ahead and simplify so x square plus 9 equal to m square. Let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 1. And here is our next step. Let's consider this red triangle ACD. And we know that this triangle is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this side ac as an a this side as a b and this longest leg as side c and here's our pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a in our case this time is m b is square root of x plus one and c is 4 let's go ahead and substitute those values so a is m so this become m square plus b is going to be the square root of x plus 1 and then square and c in our case is 4 square now let's go ahead and simplify this equation we know that this square and square root they undo each other we got m square plus x and then plus 1 equal to 16. Let's move this x and this 1 on the right hand side. So we are going to have m square equal to 16 minus x minus 1. So that means m square turns out to be 15 minus x and let me go ahead and call this as an equation number two and here is our next step let's go ahead and compare equations one and two and here are our equations one and two when we compare them we can write this equal to this one so therefore i can write x square plus nine equal to 15 minus x now let's move this 15 and negative x on the left hand side so we got x square plus 9 minus 15 plus x equal to 0 and here in next step we got x square plus x minus 6 equal to 0 and this is a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by factoring now let's go ahead and find the factors i'm going to put down x minus 2 times x plus 3 equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and separate them I can write x minus 2 equal to 0 and x plus 3 equal to 
0 so therefore our first x value is going to be x equal to positive 2 and the other x value is negative 3 and now we know that x represents the length and length cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to negative 3 value and we are going to accept this x equal to positive 2 so thus our only accepted value is going to be x equal to positive 2 so thus our only x value turns out to be x equal to 2 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye